chairs are fucking squeaky. <clears throat> okay, here we go. for a while now. Yep. Uh. You are probably the most laziest cat. <laughs> Good for a while. <clears throat> Why am I all the way here? Yeah, Carl has never had good rolls, man. It's, it's a shame. are a bit thin today, so lots of the lads started to slip in, traumatised what's been happening. Probably the drought spot. Oh, right. Ever since they arrived, we all got more scared. Don't they try anything? Remember what I said before. Don't they try anything? Don't they try anything? Don't Ah, uh, <clears> find <throat> out both you and I should get along just fine. Hello uh, there, John. I've been on, I've been on that side of the spectrum, as they say. Oh. Holding up, okay, Ren? Well, then. Uh, no, I got knocked out last night. Go. What? By who? Yeah. Um. You're within this circle of information. Come talk to me. Uh, let me put this away one second. Um, to put it simply so I don't take up too much of the time. Same thing as the as before, scribery. But they took action upon me this time. Really? Mm. 
Really? We can walk and talk. Boy, we'll be going what seems to be the commotion over here. Ah, uh, well. Apparently someone socked him in the eye. And, uh, because someone was fucking real loud. But with someone in the tavern there, they were they're already getting out and he couldn't sleep. <laughs> Do you know uh, oh. where Morgrim is today? I was about I was uh, on my way to check see if he's by the forge. No, I, I just checked, checked by the mines afterwards. Uh, maybe he's on the mines. Maybe head that way. Right. I'll have a look. Thank you. Hmm. Anyways, anyways how's your morning too. so far? Why to bed? Uh, it's been doing good. Ah, oh, that's good to hear. I heard quite a lot has happened. <clears throat> Morning, Tarek. How'd you sleep? Did you sleep well? No. It's comfortably, right. all things considered. I drank a lot last night. Yeah, I can tell. Put bags under your eyes. I always have bags under my eyes, Tarek. But they're particularly lustrous today. Thanks, Tarek. I feel great. <clears throat> Glad to be a service. <laughs> uh. Sleep in a hay bale, Tarek. Um. Next one. Uh, stop. You got hay <laughs> in your fucking hair. You look like a bum. I mean. Fair enough. I mean, I didn't exactly have anywhere else to go. You gave up your room, apparently. We're drawing it tent. Well, you saw the way people looked at me yesterday. I didn't want to subject the others to that by association. <clears throat> Suppose. I'm on the hunt for Morgrim. So? Um, I haven't been inside the walls yet, so... Uh, if you need a hand, I can help you. Yeah, I just have some things I finished for him that I want to hand over. But he's not at the forge and he's not around, so maybe I'll check the tavern. Uh, I might stop in there later just to get something to eat. Hmm. If you're heading that way, though, I think I'm going to take a look around town and... Sure. See if anyone needs anything. Mm -hmm. Was that him there? I'm out of a job. Oh, shit. There we go. You're a bard, you're always kind of out of the job. You're like a busker, aren't you? Uh, who's gonna listen to me now, honestly? Eh. Oh. May as well just get back into general labor. Well, well this, this whole oh, transpired after, after, the bandit, after the bandit incursion. Aye, oh, that'll oh, be true. Bandits. Well, uh, let's just hope oh, our, our like... days will get a little bit brighter at some point soon, though. Uh, Morning. <clears throat> Morgrim! I uh, need to have a little word with you about some of the stuff. I need to get the parts together and get the locks made. Also... I got the bits that you left for me well, here. Uh, if you would, mm. I'll need your help with them at the forge Thanks. in a little bit, but... um. Oof. What the fuck? Oh. That cart's wheeling in a fair bit of in. Oh. What the fuck happens? Oh, yeah, I don't. Um... Every time they go on these missions, they come back worse than when they. Should we get these to the forge? <laughs> Aye, lad. I need to get these done as soon as possible, otherwise the, um... What the hell? The, uh, captain of the Royal Guard will have my head. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Chariot of the Seven, the smell makes you lucy. 
I don't want to be rude, but... Oh, yeah. oh I, I don't... Oh, I don't... <laughs> Only parts we need to get done are the intricate pieces, but um, that's my specialty. I think I could get you to do as a. F I think I could get you to do as a favor before you do that. Mm. Here's twenty-five copper. Think of it as your breakfast for this morning. Uh, run to the tavern and let Yindel know that the parties came back and they need a, he a little bit of a hand. You I'll it. get this sorted. Right. Run to the tavern. Kyla. Hey, you're back. Kyla. I need to uh, speak to you. In some things. Private? But first, I must make some trans. Yes, in private. In but first, I must make some transactions. We've got a whole load right. of steel and iron ore. <clears throat> it went well, then, I guess, all things considered. I just saw the steel. Yes, well. Right. Well, I mean, these things always go no one, well. No one in our party died. <sighs> Good. Um, well, if you have transactions, I have some things I need to do. I mean, you can find me later, and I don't think I have anything else much planned today. You know, this, this, this won't take long. Yeah. <clears throat> what happened to your boots? Well, you see this nice hole in the bottom of my foot? Ew. <sighs> Gonna have to clean it out in a minute, but... Yeah, just yeah. get that wrapped Acid. or something. Acid? Ew. So, Merendale has asked me to do... asked me to tell you to do some things, because he's gonna be very busy this morning. It's, you know, things that people should really not hear in earshot. Mm -hmm. Oh, guards. Anyway, um, before they get here, uh, there's a couple of missives in, under a floorboard in Mirandel's scribery. He needs you to take them. Two of them are on. One of them needs to be burned. Two of them to on. One of them needs to be burned. You said. Okay. Which one needs to be burned? That is up. It's from the. Uh... It's from the wolves of Mythics. Okay. Well, I think his scribery was broken into last night, so I'll double check. <laughs> Send a full board. Right. I'll do that. <clears throat> Next time you can just ask me himself to do his fucking homework. He doesn't need to send you. I think he's he getting was... tired of me. Yeah, well, no, he's got he's got company all the time. Yeah, I know. Good morning, Awen. Morning. Uh, anyway, mm. all time right. to sell some steel. Good luck. Do you suppose you're not up for stretches after, you know? No, no, I... Morning. Good morning, Kyla. Should you be up and walking? If I sit in that house any longer, I'll slip my own wrists. Trying to figure but out if that's no, better than I walking. <laughs> Morgan's at the uh, forge. Um, I've got some errands to be running. Just go right. easy. <clears throat> Where to? Hmm? Me? Hmm. 
Um, I have to talk to Iandel, and I have to go up to the Scribery to do some lessons. Still then, learning how to read and rhyme. I'm actually getting quite shit. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't make me laugh. No, I'm improving. Oh, I, hold on, I, 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 I haven't seen you. Mm. Mm. And a bald mustache. Oh, you're all sorts of scarred. Shirtless. I'm assuming you're missing an eye too. Ah, apologies. Hello, my name is Jack. I haven't quite met you yet. What's your name, big fella? Name's Arn. I'm the head blacksmith in Ledford. Ah, I see. I see you work with Mordegrim in... Oh. I'm assuming you're two old friends. I got it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Arn. Can't do it here in town. <laughs> you have to come a bit closer, my friend. <clears throat> nice to meet you. <sighs> Oh, you look scarred up. Arn. Is that you? <laughs> no, Famous somebody now. else. Oh, I see. Oh, well, how can you be someone else? What happened to you? I fell down I some stairs. No. <laughs> I see. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> quite some stairs to fall down. Uh, uh, Linda, this is Arn. He's one of the blacksmiths. What's that? <sighs> Morning, you two. Um, is Ian Dell around still? It's not a real fucking name. I know. Uh, <clears throat> fine, fine. She's on her way to the um, infirmary. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Risa. Okay. Oh, girl. Coming from Haloth. Smallis is his name. Might be able to get him. He said he's some sort of builder. I had to miss him. Hey, did you say the elf uh, from Haloth? I'll go check yeah, the elf from Haloth. Yeah, he's the fucking I know. I'll go check the kitchen. <laughs> How are my eyes now? Are they, uh, normal? My gestures are fucking weird. Steel. All right. I yeah, okay, um, I've cleared a, okay. I've cleared a spot of the desk for you. If you just want to take the small <clears> hammer from <throat> the desk over there, I'll be with you in just a second. So five. I'm going to run the numbers over. Okay. Calculate. Then steel. <clears throat> what flavor popped out though? We have a contract here which basically states that you can basically leave your stuff here. We will take care of it within the forge and it will be within the for within the forge until such times as payments can be made so that we can purchase the ore from you. So until that time these ores are in your name, with Tang as your beneficiary. I'll make a second copy that I will give to Arn. <clears throat> Do you want me to get to work on this, Morgan? 
run the numbers. Yes, please. Um, if Probably you would uh, kindly, <laughs> kindly, I'm going to have to get you early twenty. Just a moment. I need to write this up first. So I'll be with you in just a moment, sir. Right. That is fine. I just wanted to. I'm gonna ask you, ain't by chance got any jobs or anything like that going on? Things you need help with? For the moment? For the moment, no. However, if you see the construction head carpenter, the head carpenter, please instruct him to meet me outside of the scribery so that we can begin fitting the door. That would be wonderful. Ah. Outside of where, sorry? You said? A scribery with the door. Scribery. Ask, ask right, him to bring yeah, the door I'll, I'll here first so I can. Um, ask him to bring the door here so that I can fix the lock into it and then we will take it up to the scribery to fit it. Right, uh, well and if you would sign both documents, please. Alright, well. <coughs> <coughs> one. me, thing. <laughs> so this one. Perfect height for this. Thank you. Does Tang need to sign it? Uh, give me a moment. Uh, Tang, come here for a moment. I've um <clears throat> slided all the bits together for you. Thank you. Um, I've given you the two silver already, but here is fifty copper from myself as a thanks for your time. Appreciate it. I will be giving this to you in just a moment. Uh, Tang, can you... Is your brand alright? Okay, can I see yes. the logo? Good. Can you make it basically pop forward without heating up? Rude. Always in my intention. Sorry. Right. You have to see uh, Mirandel. Yes, I am. Mm. Hello. <clears throat> How's the uh? Kyla, there was. Uh... Hmm? How's the mission? It was good. Hmm. Silver steel. Have you talked to A when I told him to? Uh, I know. To I know. I haven't finished my homework though. You need to ask me personally. You can't keep sending other people. I know you get upset with me. Haven't been able to, haven't had the chance. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Very well. Busy day. <sighs> Kylo, there's something you need to know. Oh, I hate those. There was another break in at the scribery. Hmm. Ren mentioned Last it. Night while I was away. Kylo, um, have you spoken to Seravith at all? No, I haven't. Been back. I haven't seen her yet. Why? I saw Cade. I assume they came in together and that she went to sleep or something. I don't know where she went. She ran off ahead of us. Okay, that sounds Either like... she's going mad. What? You know that thing? That condition that she currently has? Uh... Vaguely? The thing? The chest condition? Let me... 
Yes. Let me just back it up. You're just gonna back it up? Okay, let me sit down. We went to the mines. We saw many terrible, terrible things. Mm hmm. Creatures smelling of rotten flesh with acid blood. Smells the acid, right? Seraphis, while we were in there, risked her life. At the request of me, she acted as bait for another creature, one that we could not fight. Lured it away so that we could be get somewhere safe. She came crawling back, barely alive. I admired her for that greatly. However, she had to be carried the rest of the way. We were chased out of that mine by countless creatures. Too strong to face. And, uh, there was a barricade that we had to pry open. Kid was carrying her and set her down. Apparently in the scuffle and the panic, he had forgotten to pick her back up. When he realized he, was he forgot to pick her back them. up. You had to have been there to understand the situation. How do you forget of... that you're carrying someone? He would put her down to defend the backside while we pried open the barricade. It was just a moment. A moment of panic. And in that moment, a wall of them formed between us and her. There was no way we could go back. Not without all of us or at least most of us being slain by them. Personally, I think Sarevitz crafty. She's resourceful. She can see in the dark, most of all. She, she was the one I was least worried about. And Cade was about to snuff out her only source of light so he could go back on a suicide mission to get her. I had a dying woman in my arm to steal. And no one else was in fighting condition, only me and Cade. So you just decided to fucking leave her? We had no choice. There was no way to get back to her. And how did she get out? The entrance. If there was a wall of them between you and her, how the fuck did she get out? You just left her? Mirandel! What the fuck is with this town? You torture a slave to death, and now you start leaving people! Do you remember all those days ago who I asked you who you wanted to be? It's those fucking choices, Mirandel, and you fucking left her! If we went back, we all would have died, including her. I would have stayed. At least that is what I thought, and it would have happened. And I would have stayed for you, and you anyone else You can see in the there. dark, can't you? We had a torch, because she threw two of our torches away in a panic. We had one torch between nine of us. So that condemns her to be breath. left behind. None of us could see in the dark. I would have headed back there with Cade, after things settled. Because Kate did go back. I had a dying woman in my arms that no one else was fit to carry. I had to get her to the apothecary. Servith only survived because of... her condition. Because of the thing that follows her. Tyler, it's trying to... What does that mean? She was mumbling. Sanity. She was saying that it wasn't going to take from her. But she stabbed Cade. Good. I don't know the details of it. Maybe it was self offense. He lowers his voice. I don't know why he stepped away, but. The spirit, the locket. I figured. 
is trying to take something from her. She claims it's taking something from her. And I think it's trying to take her sanity. I haven't seen I her. It's trying to make her play into its hands. Tyler. You're the only one that can talk to her. What? The reason with her. I doubt it. Tyler, I know. She I... chewed me out like a fucking motherfucker the other day. For asking her to be around more. Because I didn't have anyone. Do you really think I can convince her to do anything, Mirandel? Do you really think anyone can convince her to do anything? I don't know, but you were able to convince Carrick. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that I might care for these people, but I have no idea how to talk to them. You can. I don't know you how do. to look after them, Yalman. You left your village person to die. Kyla! At the expense of one life, I tried to save every other life there. Half of them could not walk their toes to bone from acid. Should I condemn them all to death to go back for one that was left behind? Tell me that. Do I have any right to tell them that we turn around? It shouldn't have been put we down death. to begin with. That's not shouldn't my fault. Shouldn't have had to have gone then, back it? for her. She should have been with you to begin with. You know as well as anyone else the panic that can set in in a dark cavern. Don't. The panic that has set in. It's not like she was left on purpose. That was an accident. <laughs> you guys got to the end of the mine. I was like, oh, wait a minute. The person I was carrying. Cade, what happened? Yeah, I fucking will. No, it was a moment. A moment was enough for them to step between us and her, and there was no way around. We almost had to leave Vestile behind, too. If we weren't able to circle around and grab her because she was in a large room where we were able to do that, then she would have been left behind, too. She would have died. She might still die. If I carried her out, her skin sloughing off of her legs, sticking to my chainmail. So I didn't want to leave anyone behind. And it tore me apart when we... I thought we weren't going to see Sarah Vith again, especially after what she did. She feels betrayed. Yes, she has her right to those feelings. We failed her, but there was no way. You know as well as I do, if I could have gone for her, I would have. I pulled her out of a burning pile. She was being burned alive and pummeled to death. I was the only one that saw. I was the only one that went out to find her. Only one that could. If I could see in the dark, maybe I would have gone back. Maybe I would have tried to find a way around. But I can't. If I do something foolish and it gets everyone else killed, and then we don't even save her in the first place, then what was the point? Do your homework later, Mirandel. Um, not to interrupt, but um, Jack brought this up. Ransom's gone. I'm 
Ah, you're you're just the person that can help. Oh, hello, okay. hey, Jack. Oh, you look. Our good. um, forge master needs to go meet with Ferrandel. I believe up at the strawberry. You may need a hand up those stairs. Well, he currently doesn't have his. All right. Um, I meant to talk to you. That's just for. Where the fuck are you? <clears throat> when I was taken by the for bandits. Me? Well, anyone in the forge, really. Um, when I was taken by the bandits, they, they took everything. My gold, all my, my money, my weapons, everything. I don't have anything. I was wondering if I could borrow a sword, short sword, or a dagger, or if you had any left over, even shitty quality ones. So. We don't actually have any other weapons left over, lads. In fact, that's not true. That's not true. There is one weapon I can make you. With Arn's permission. Where's your sword? Bandits took it. Told you that last night. They took everything. I know, it's okay. They took my money, they took... They didn't take your life. That's what matters. Not good. We have one blade still in the forge. That you gave to me, my You gave to me yourself. I used to belong to a certain blacksmith I know. With his permission, we can uh, hand it down, as it will. Yeah, do it. Make sure it's shit. Right. Aye. Don't you worry, lad. I will get some of the uh, new ore that we've achieved. We've um, came in to help pay for the, uh, the ore and get the sword made with some of the best iron we have. We just just happen to come into a good deal of it. So. Crazy. It's the same sword Arn used. It's a short sword. Okay. I believe. I so. Okay, I can pay you back over time. I just don't have anything right now. Except for what you Oh, don't be silly. This is for your own protection. Keep looking after me while I'm old and infirm. That's pay my money. Uh, I'm supposed <laughs> to help you. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to help you up to uh, Mirandil. Oh, well then. Here he is. <laughs> Talk about coincidences today. Hey. Lucien, well, I need this it. chainmail fixed. I'm not gonna need my Why spear right now. <laughs> I can it. see that. What the hell have you been doing with that spear? Dipping it in acid, you know, as usual. Good oh. morning. Hello. I holding up. I'm a bit fuzzy, to be frank. Hmm. Everything's just a tad more blurry today. Fucking eyes killed me. So what happened? You were up here and someone just came up and clocked you? Yeah, pretty much. Did you see anything? I was here. Ah, none at all. Hmm. Whoever came in here looking for this was at least trained. I don't even know how they got behind me. What do they take? Just out of the bookshelf. Fuck, I don't know. Hmm. They haven't sorted that out yet. If I had to guess, they sent another missive. Hmm. That's a guess. Well, I'm gonna do some... A proper investigation yet. Mm hmm I'm gonna do some snooping around in case they've left anything behind, I think. <clears throat> Is that frustrating? Yes, it is. I'm a scrub. I've never picked up a sword in my life. 
I'm not a fighter. You're in Ledford now, you're a fighter. Sorry, Ren. See anything else missing? I don't see anything back there. Um, all of Mirandel's stuff for the uh, town hall is still here. I don't know why they take that. <sighs> what about the ravens? Not sure. Hmm. I'm not trained in it. Well, I mean, I don't remember how many we had before? Yeah, it's hard to keep track. Might have to ask up the chain. Yeah, it's fine. To make sure. Well, I'll do some snooping around town, see if anyone saw anything. Thanks, Ren. No problem. Stay safe. will also be getting a new door fitting, so apologies for the noise in advance. It's okay. Just doing your job. <sighs> Not a problem. Good morning, Mr. Kyler. Good morning. Do you need the broom? No, it's okay. Thank you, Xavier. Appreciate it, though. Mm. Or you, drow. Howdy. We'll have it fetted before the end of the day. Well, I was up most of the night. Yeah, I left my homework up there for you. Oh, you too. And Thank you. We I have actually on. Those masked, uh, individuals Can you meet me up there in a the moment? There's something I have to do. Off. Hmm. And there is copper rod. It's not exactly easy to walk all over the bloody place. Here's one. Uh, I Kyler would have you up, I'm sure. Couple days. Uh, oh, I'll get a volunteer, the boy. I'm getting put off for the militia. Do you object? No. Here's your 50 copper sum. 50 each. Very good. <laughs> Shall I wait for you in the scribery then? Alright, then. I'll be up I'm there. You can it. follow in just a moment. Get to work, I'll see if I can't like get that. the rest of your papers <clears throat> that you're No promises, though. What's all that about? Uh... Nice. You'd be surprised. Now go on. I have some things for you. Do what you need to do. word. Right. Let's go to home for you soon. Go work on the palace. Yeah. Well, well, I have to go up there, don't I? They're wrapping her with... Yeah, I will you know put them in your house. Just, I would go follow the, the big man. Ah, uh, we're going in all day. I see. Really right. Very really good. Yeah. All this homework he's been getting me doing is just driving me insane. <laughs> the smarter you are, the less chance somebody will take advantage of you. So I'm glad. I've got the street smarts. Well, let's get you up there. <laughs> we really need herbs. <sighs> Why are these even here? These aren't even stairs. I know, we could just be a ramp. Maybe <laughs> 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 
You know how Paul Grace can get without leaving the store open. After all that, yeah, I know. Maybe that's the secret. I'd hate to hold you, but what's your business coming up here? I was going to the scribery to write a will. Go on, if it's just that, we can let you through. <laughs> Lad, help the old fucking man up. I'm gonna put stairs, it should be here, really. Come on, this is not. This is Come not. Come on, old man. <laughs> Elderly accessible. Bullshit. How many stairs there are in Lidford? Oh dear. I've fallen down most of them. I find out that I'm right behind you in that aspect. <sighs> You're making a will? You don't plan on dying, are you? Does anybody have a plan for it? Well, if you're writing a will, you kind of are. No, that's just being prepared. For... <sighs> Fucking dying. Yeah. Uh, it's being prepared for dying. It's planning for... It's like wearing chainmail, it's being prepared for preventing dying. <clears throat> Wear that more often. Forgive me if, if I wasn't, because I was trying to go to fucking sleep, and then a bunch of uh, bandits found their way into my house. Yeah, I thought about dead bolting well bandits. Just me when I say that would not have helped. Oh, God, must there be so many. You know how many times I went up and down this when my leg was sliced open? More hey, times Jack. Probably unwilling Where's to. Mirandel? Oh, he's probably up in the scribery, Lupus. Uh, Kyla. <clears throat> probably up in this. I'm so uh, fucking tired. Who's that? I don't know! <clears throat> he's probably up in the scribery, Kyla. Get up to the scribery. Is he there? Nope. Go back down. You're no oh, Kyla, I need to speak to you in the scribery. The asshole. You are here. Oh, God. It's not even my legs, it's my fucking gut. Maybe on the way down, we could get you to slide on a particularly large book or something. Let Mirindal have a conniption. A conniption? Yeah. It's a brain thing. Uh. Yeah, I don't have one of those. Everybody has one of those. I think. I assume you can handle the rest of the way. I like to think so. Good luck. Good luck getting down. I'll learn. Uh... comes worse, I'll just... Yeah, some more stairs. I think you could just dead fish it and just roll down, so maybe that'd be best. Stay safe, on. Thank you, Kyla. You as well. Ah, that's the first time I did that. Oh man, that sucks. Beep beep. I'm gonna slip out this. Don't wanna ruin your work. Yeah, uh, I'm just working on the door, but it keeps closing, so yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, 
last night certainly wasn't intentional. If the gates weren't locked down, I would have been in the smithy. Mm. What happened last night took a harder toll on me than I thought. Oh. A lot of last work, I would assume you would be very familiar with them at this point. <sighs> I've seen my fair share of shit, trust me. And it just keeps I'm fucking coming. stacking on. Ah. I had not eaten a day prior in that, nor have I eaten, yeah. Still be left with those wants, those uh, desires, yeah. and there'd be nothing for me back there. You're back. Alright. It would be comfort. Good morning. Um, Good morning, Taylor. Just some water and bread would be great. We're just about out of bread. Oh, whatever's uh, cheap and not too much. Uh, that's about all I see, Fred. Thank you. Say copper. A little something extra for you, Lisa. Turns out to be Thank you. Wild Decide to stop taking from me. Or maybe I'm just a fool who wants to be loved more than he wants to be feared. It's not the worst fault we have. Ah, good morning, Baylor. Oh. Fault that winds up with a dagger in your gut. Get up stairs in a room. Right. I thought that was from the creatures. Well, Ian Bill told me to fall, so I'll be heading up there if you don't mind. Alright. Yeah, got many wounds from the creatures. Mm. Munchy, munchy, munch. Good morning. Munchy, munchy, crunchy, crunch. Munch, crunch, 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 munch. There's some hydration in the form of water. Munch, munch, munch. Most of them. This morning, isn't it? Well, cloudy, but not too bad. Somebody here, do you think? No, it's just not raining. Not too good a morning for you, is it? Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy fresh water. Take my bread. It's interesting. Uh, That's some good words too. Scars that I've been Mental getting uh, the result of something. Then we got some new supplies. <sighs> I'd even go so far as to say is the lashing that I received from also a lady. Yes. Very good. To that Are point. You? Looking at something. What was your reasoning behind going down there? With Lisa, you're right. The guy. He was already tied up. Why did you guys go down there? Yeah, not just say word. I wanted answers. <sighs> Any way to reclaim ah, those who'd been lost. Is it straight from the river? 
from the river of the well. We try right, to get well, from the river come, the cut and take as they please. Uh, fresh. More fresh than usual. Yeah, and you're, you're gonna go do physical work and not having eaten for three days. It, it is fine. It's not fine. <laughs> He's telling me. Not fine to eat, not eat for three days and then do physical work. <laughs> you know, like, I normally I'm pretty level headed, but. Five days, Maya. It is fine. Like what? That's it's not fine. I, I barely sleep. I said it's not fine. <laughs> My best Mickey Mouse impression. <coughs> oh boy! Ha <laughs> ha! for you. daytime. Chat, roll a d20.
Kings. I don't want to go away. Really built it out, didn't they? Yeah. Just was the thing. Charlie Ho, Watchman of the Mound. Mm hmm. You're all sweaty. <laughs> it uh, helps build a wall and then climb a tree. All the times that you could have taken your shirt off, when you actually need to take your shirt off to prevent yourself from getting sweaty, you don't. I am um, not keen on... Well... <clears throat> Why did I do that? Ow. Just pat them. Lightly, but it's more the fabric. <laughs> Thought going for a short walk would help loosen up the wound, but it's just made it uncomfortable. Tight. Scar tissue starting to pull. Never gonna be the same. Scars do heal. 
be on the outside, Tarek. That was me being dramatic. Oh, come on, you don't need to... I know. You know I was going to say, you don't need to be Summer Rose now. I don't know who that is. I think that was Terran. Summer Rose? Oh, Morose. It... Don't need to be so morose. So oh, I thought you said summer rose. Dram I was like... Dramatic. No, no, no. Don't need to be so morose. Morose just means dramatic, but in a bard kind of way. Depre I was going to say depressing, but oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I've decided to name this hill. Really. Mm. So I'll let you know. You're not going to tell me what you're going to name it? <laughs> Don't keep me in suspense. Like a fish on a hook. I'm calling it... This is a word that Club I learned from Mirandel. <clears throat> Melancholy Hill. Oh. Oh, big word. Mm. Do you know what it means? I think it just means, like, a lack of feelings. It's more sad. Like me. I'm very melancholy. How far off? So, Melancholy Hill. You've had your... You've had your moments. Yeah. You can't be entirely melancholy if you can crack a joke every now and then. That's just masks. Pretend like things are okay, but inside I'm crying. I mean, you're the one that made those masks, yes? So that means they're part of you regardless. I suppose. Maybe not masks, but just different faces. Ones you don't necessarily pull out as much. I'll pull your face out. Wear it. Go back to your... F I'll, I'll treat your kids. I'll be your kid. I'll be their dad. And you have to wear my face. Proud out. It's gonna be... I should write a book. Will I be able to... Face off. Will I be able to see in the dark? I think that's how it works. Face off. Yeah, face off. I mean... All right, let's do it. I'd love to see in the dark. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. All right, stand back. Okay, all right, all right. All right wow, you're right. really going to let me do it, you fucking psychopath. No, of course not. Horrible. I didn't think you would actually do it. <laughs> hmm. I decided that I would trust that you would not actually remove my face. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be honest, Tarek, if I need your face for something, I'm, I'm going to take it. Well, shit. Hopefully I'm not using it for anything at the time. Alright. What is Arn doing up? One second. I... To be honest, I didn't even know he was back until this morning. Yeah, it got released. Released. Mm hmm. Right, Kyla. Has On told you who it was that had him? Yes. Are we going to do anything about it? I might. Goes that saying. You need anything from me? I'm gonna need your face. I'll keep it in pristine condition. Sharp and pointy spears. What? 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 What?
Oh yeah, but, but like I saw the the bar. It's like over. Oh, oh, no, over. Oh, ew, yeah. Alright, <laughs> gotcha. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this old man to the river uh, so he yeah, can get washed up. Well, I mean like, well, I mean before like. Uh, it's the same shows online. I see. Like, keeps me going for like five days. Go and take old man here like, and get him washed up from all blood. And he's also yeah. smelly too. Oof. And the stairs he's tell them down. like this. The stairs. Well, okay, I guess it's none of my business. Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Here. I'm gonna head back oh, and have to finish the hmm. Hi. Okay. Come on, let's go on. Uh. Go on, Alvis. Go into the woods. Okay. Find the marks. Yes. Yeah. I'll follow yeah. after. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Hi. Uh, I'll show you where I found it. I, I saw it. It was like this close to me. <laughs> Maya, are you so okay? Hurt, you know. Yeah, I'm okay. Go on, Maya. Uh, yes, Hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Training <laughs> hobbits, halflings. Can't say hobbits. Jack is on here. Oh. Small one. Tracker. Decent with a bow, huh? Here. At least he doesn't have arrows to shade him. But... They're like puppies. Gonna be dying. Uh, uh, by hips. <sighs> Getting old. I'm mm. almost 31. Mm. That is very old. Hey, Baylor. Weird question. No real reason. Do you like cake? Let your cock swing with the water. You know what? Why not? <sighs> Sit here a moment and forget everything that fucking sucks. <sighs> Let go of the fact that it's really fucking cold. It is quite cold. In fact, be right back. Go. Oh. Hello, Kyla. Have you seen Zerovi? No. She hasn't shown up in town yet. Hey, mate. She might not. <gasps> Look. You guys completely uh. naked. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You've never bathed before, Carla? No, that's not what I'm laughing at, don't worry. You've never seen two guys sitting in a river ten feet apart? You call that ten feet? No wonder the palisade's so shit. <laughs> you know, I take that as a personal affront to my ability to build a palisade. Well, it's not your ability to build a palisade, it's your ability to measure distance. Well, it's more like the villagers' ability to build the palisade. On my expert plans. Yeah, and who you know, put those... sounding more and more like a noble every time. You know that. <laughs> it wasn't my plans, it was the stupid peasants. Hey, so I they put they down the foundation up. for that shit and no one thanked me. As always. No wonder it's so messed up. I can't read, you fucking idiots! <laughs> I'm just kidding, you did a fine job. I inspected it later myself. Yeah, it was a 14 out of 20, if I recall. I don't know what that means. Is that how many hours you worked on putting stakes in? If so, you need to work on your time management skills. I spent an hour in roleplay banging stakes into the ground, prick. Roleplay? Hmm. What does that mean? Are you in some kind of production? We're all in a production. I didn't know you were theatrical. Try ah, yes, face. the production of life. How am I? I can only imagine Kyla right. instead of it trying to run and slipping and falling like a bunch of scared cats. We should host like a talent show or something in Ledford. The fuck are you on about? 
You know, that's not a bad Everyone idea. Has a talent. We're all alive. Most of the people there are incredibly scummy. I'm wondering who's the most scummiest. Do you mean physically, as in how much dirt they can accrue on their bodies, or do you mean... Well, if it's like that, then us three are the least scummiest people in Lidford right now. Ah, oh, that feels nice. That's you know, the nicest thing anyone said to me all day. Yeah, never mind. It was good to see you, Mirandel. Happy to see you, Mirandel. I did my oh, homework yeah, for you, Mirandel. Sure, sure, sure. Good to see you, Mirandel. Glad you made it back okay, Mirandel. But no, it's um, the fact that we're sitting in a fucking river. And that's the thing that you uh, take away from that, so... I'd like a nice cold ale right about now, actually. Cold ale? Doesn't that sound nice? I yes, have you ever had ale chilled? Just take the barrels and you put them in the mud by the river. Yes. Or... You're fancy. You have servants bring you ice. My god, he is sounding more and more like a fucking... No woman. Yeah. <laughs> what, can't I just remember the good old days? <laughs> Having your Lord servants Master bring... Master Yalman, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Lord Master Yalman. Yalman, sir, scribe. With his own sir, personal sir. guards as well. Yes. Sir Reginald... I mean, Rinwall, why don't you take a dip with us? No? It's nice. Cold. Played on, preferably. It's cold. Refreshing. Oh no, I know you haven't been relieved of your duties <gasps> in three days. Positively stinking in there. I'm sure whatever smell you're smelling under that helmet is not pleasant. Yeoman, I must kindly decline. Ah, well, if you insist. Uh, Lord Master Yeoman Scribe. Yes, it Pray is Sir Lord Yeoman Master Scribe. Toilet prestige. Yes. Sir Lord Yeoman Master Scribe. <coughs> Esteemed <coughs> Sir Master Yeoman Scribe. Oh, God. You introduce yourself like that to Advisor Fulker. And I will give you every silver that I make for the rest of my life. You know what? It's such a bold plan, he might not even kill me. <laughs> Is anyone else. Even from that one's look, I don't think he agrees. Is anyone else, like, incredibly <laughs> comfortable about how Mirren's sitting right now? Like, being naked and all? It's more so thrusting I can't it help it. in between your calves, aren't you? Over my legs. Oh. Really it's just thrusting just it right between your calves. Like, yeah. Use yeah. your imagination yeah. to pretend my legs are free. It's like a quarry. When he, when he leans forward more, it looks like he's got a little hanging diaper pouch in the back with school. We need to change your diaper, me wee. Dogs, I can't you even enjoy a dip in the river. Can't even enjoy a dip in the river. I'm going to drown myself, is what I'm going to do. You're they fall with the trouble. That. Sir Reginald or Rinwald would have to do that for you. <laughs> Alright. He could put you in his armor and just push you into the river. Sir Renwald, I order you to drown me. End my suffering. <laughs> You've never seen him turn that fast. <laughs> He's really, he's, he's, he's really weighing it up in his head, isn't he? Look at him. He is thinking about it. Oh, it was terrible. This uh, sea serpent attacked and um, drowned the scribe. And oh well. Compatriot. And all of his compatriots, one by one. Fun. It's crazy. The sea serpent came up and tied rocks to their feet. And then bludgeoned them in the face with their, their gauntlet. <laughs> the sea serpent's gauntlet. <laughs> you know you're allowed to laugh, right? It doesn't have to be serious. If you're gonna be looking after this man-child, at least be happy about it. You can laugh about it, you know? Yeah, I, I'm starting to think maybe we're not as funny as we think. Maybe this cold water is slowing the blood flow to our brain. Slowing oh, the blood flow to other places, Mirandel, by the looks of it. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Were you staring? It's just. Listen, it's like a boy can be curious if he wants. It's like a cart accident, you know, when you see like a bunch of horses run into each other and the cart explodes and people are dying and there's like explodes. What kind of cart what explodes? That? <laughs> what was that cart what's carrying? carrying? I don't mean like literal explosion. I mean like just kind of splinters everywhere because they're going so fast. Well, then that's not an explosion, Kyle. It's an impact. Okay, well they impact and you just can't really look away. It's a horrific scene, you but you can't really him. look He's away. He's learning his words still. Learning his he doesn't words. know. He doesn't know the uh, what he means by uh, something you can't look away from is uh, he's looking for the words for pristine statuesque like cock and balls. I think that's yeah. So Mirandel has a pristine cock and balls. He just can't not look away from it because it's just so horrible. That's not horribly. <laughs> Do you know what pristine means? You just said oh, it was. Yeah. You just said it meant like a car, uh, the but cart action. Pristine means uh, immaculate. It also means yeah, clean and and and. Oh well, that's well definitely made. not the case. Definitely not the case. You gave him sorry. Yeah, you. <sighs> I didn't mean to. Goodness. <sighs> Tyler. Oh. You're a uh, good friend of Cade, right? I know him. You put your clothes on before you started standing up and swinging your cock at the woman. Nope. What can I help you with? <laughs> what can I help you with? <laughs> Stop showing the woman your cocks. God damn it. I've seen it all before. That's... They all look different. It's nothing. Nothing too Now, bad. would you categorize? <laughs> I'm going to sit back down. Are you sure? Yeah, that, that'd probably be best. Um, so anyways, um, I was talking to Cade in the tavern, and I'm a bit worried about him. He's been drinking really heavily, and there's something that's bothering him. And I was just going to let you guys know to keep an eye on him. Is he still in there? Uh, if I... I'm correct, he went up over on the hill over there to overlook Ledford and oh. for a bit, but he still has half a bottle of wine. That one? Uh, no, that one over there. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Heroes can never rest, Carla. Not a fucking hero on, you know that. <laughs> Villains. You've been a villain this whole time, you didn't even tell me. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's got the laugh and You're not everything. very observant, are you? And I'm teaching him how to read. Nothing's worse than... You're making me different. smarter and stronger, you fool! Alright. <sighs> I should have been teaching you! God, there's so many damned. fucking buckles on this Played shirt. me like a damned fiddle. Damned, pristine, cut, tiny, cocked fiddle. All right, I'll go talk to him. <laughs> I don't think I'm teaching him anymore. Boys being boys, as usual. Stand up and show it to you every time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a... That was 100% a bronze laugh. Maybe I should air dry.
Actually, never mind. The wind's fucking cold. That was a fully power play. This stupid blonde bitch. Uh -huh. Shh. Oh, <clears throat> have you seen Cade around? I don't scare us like that. Huh? Uh, yeah, last I saw him, he was in the tavern talking to Millie. Yeah, is that her name? Oh, okay, I should stop calling her blonde bitch then. Okay, well, she told me he was up here and he's not up there and now I'm annoyed. God, I'm so okay, well, I don't, know where he... me. What? I don't know where he went after that. We've just been going out replenishing supplies for the apothecary. Okay. Well, thank you anyway. Do I have grass burn on my ass? <laughs> uh, for ten, only slightly. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Tyler. You be careful. I'm trying. Well, you just, I mean. try to, you just try to wipe glass stains off his clothes by spanking himself. That's not how it works. You hit it hard enough, it will. Oh, for fuck's sake. Another fucking stupid fucking bitch sent me on a fucking goose chase. I fucking hell. I was gonna say, don't, don't, don't give me all of it. You need some for your own studies, after all. It looks like uh, there are more ills in the village these days. Hmm. What? Huh? You're looking down and up and down and up. Oh, uh, your boot was a little weird, I guess. Uh. -huh. I see. Cough. Is my God. And the one that's not very fun. Are you okay? You're just kind of standing here awkwardly. What do you mean what you said earlier? What? What you said to me. I won't lie, it's dumb. With, with regards to? Having no idea how to keep my people safe or caring. It's a hard thing to do. Sometimes you have to make hard calls, I get that. I just wish it wasn't Sarah. Ignore that. I know. You know more than anyone that she and I have done 
more for this city than anyone knows. We don't get rewarded for it. No one sings our songs. The last thing... Yeah. To be left behind, Mirinda. I know. You know how much I truly mean it, if it I takes for Sarah to find do things other for like for people other than herself. I just worry that we've already known. Taken steps. Those are back. markings from a previous day. Okay. I worry that we've taken steps back with her. And of course we have. I do not want that to happen. I The most frustrating thing is, I truly do care what happens to her. As I care for anyone else. But I can't give special treatment to my friends, those that I consider my friend anyway. It means sacrificing everyone else's life. I would just be a selfish mother. But I'm sure that doesn't translate. Anyway, I don't stop talking about it. I need yeah. to go speak to this too. What's left of her? Yes. Take care, Kyla. Can I borrow your guard? Doubtful. Do you want to go cause Not some mischief? Sale. I wasn't selling, I was just borrowing. Come on. Meet Kyla and the guard. Partners in crime. Not crime. Partners in justice. I ignore that. Here's what I'll do. I'll walk away, and if he follows me, that means he loves me more. Okay, but if I and stay I here, and I call him, and he comes to me, that means he loves me more. Alright. Good. Okay. Settled. Alright. Come on. Come on, Royal Guard. Come on. Come on. You know it's boring as fuck with him. Yeah, no, don't do it. <laughs> he couldn't choose. That's fine. No one loves me. It's fine. I get it. I'll always be alone. I understand. You don't need to spell it out by taking everyone that I ever cared about, Mirren. That's fine. I'll just be here alone. Gonna go let my cock swing in the breeze for a bit more. You Fuck you. I'm kidding, I love you. Don't leave. <laughs> Don't worry, go have fun. Became interesting. I read of much of it in books, but One the words books. on a parchment. Yes. <laughs> the words on a parchment can only paint an image so vividly. And after getting to go out and see it for myself, it doesn't come close to comparing. So you see how many. Wonders there are to the world, and how many, how much pain there is to it as well. And I just know that every time I think about going back, think about a cozy bed, warm meals to eat. The tutoring noble's children doesn't excite me so much, but 